Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be something a little bit different. I have an unboxing video for you. I don't do unboxings very often. I try to film content that's somewhat valuable for you guys. Like unboxings aren't very educational, um, so I don't want to make a habit out of doing them, but every once in a while, um, if I'm buying from a vendor that I particularly like and I want to talk about them, um, I might do an unboxing here or there. So I hope you guys don't mind. I have some really cool stuff in here and I'm excited to show you guys. This order is from Breezy Hill Orchids. Um, the only other unboxing video I've done was also from the same vendor. I really like them a lot. It's run by my friends Judy and Mark who were some of my first orchid friends that I met kind of online when I first started getting into the hobby. And they've always been so good to me. Um, so I'm really excited to see what we got today. I ordered three different plants that I'm really excited about. And sometimes they like to sneak in a secret little bonus plant. So <laughs> we'll see. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this unboxing from Breezy Hill Orchids. But let's crack into this baby. I feel like every YouTuber who does an unboxing video always uses like an inappropriate looking knife to open the box. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God. So they wrote me this like personalized note. Um, their dog recently needed surgery to have a tumor removed and I donated and, and shared the GoFundMe for it. And they wrote me this card that says, Hey Bennett, thank you for donating towards Kona's surgery. You have become such an amazing friend. And Judy and I really appreciate you. Enjoy the surprises. So that's really sweet. Thank you so much, Judy and Mark. You're so, you're so nice to me. Everything's packaged beautifully as always. I would expect nothing less from them. Okay, so right off the bat here is one of the ones I was most excited about. This is Mazdavalia Pinocchio, which has a couple really nice looking spikes on it, and this plant looks beautiful. I love Mazdavalia Pinocchio. It's been on my list for a while, but I just hadn't gotten around to getting one. But finally, when I saw that they were getting them, I was so excited and it's in spike, so I'm super stoked. Oh my God, it looks great too. We're off to a good start here. Mast Valley of Pinocchio is awesome. Oh my God, in this, look how leafy and green this is. Oh my God, this is Mast Valley Haradere. And I had one of these before and I got it from Judy and Mark <laughs> for the previous time too. And the plant they sold me was super healthy. It wasn't a problem with that, but I ended up killing it. It's just, it's a small plant and it kind of got like pushed to the back of my grow shelves and I wasn't like checking on it as often as I should have, so I killed it. So I got a replacement and this one's even bigger and nicer looking than that first one I had. So, oh my God, I'm so stoked. Look at that. All right, now here's the third Mazdavalia that I ordered. This one's called Mazdavalia glandulosa nemo cross chris. So it's a glandulosa type, which are really cool. I don't know if you've seen a Mazdavalia glandulosa. They have these really interesting little like kind of speckles in the flowers, these little like pink droplets. And they're super cool. And this one, again, so like, dense and leafy. It's like in flawless condition. I'm so excited. Okay, so those are the three plants I ordered and I still see a couple more little packages in here. It's a scaphocephalum. Dude. They are too good. I have been wanting one of these. It's like they can read my mind. Like every single time they end up surprising me with something that I was in the market for anyway. Let me just fix this uh, window shade. If I can find a picture of the flowers, I'll insert it and show you guys, but oh my God, 
If you guys don't know what a scaphocephalum is, it's just this weird like pleurothallid type orchid, kind of similar to a Mastodalia, but it's got this like really weird flower shape to it. So excited to learn more about these and have one in my collection. They're so cool, oh my God. Thank you so much, this is amazing. Judy and Mark, I love you guys, you're too good to me. There's still one more package in here too, so let's check it out. It, the reason it's heavy is because it's on this really cool clay mount and it's a Pleurothallus cylindrica. Oh my God. I'm like speechless guys, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> just like smiling like an idiot. Dude, look at that. It's on this super nice kind of like a clay mount. It, it's a bit like one of those cool log type things. That's probably perfect for a Pleurothallus. It'll hold some water, but still kind of like breathe really nicely and not get super waterlogged. Four nice big growths on it and a couple little new growths coming in too. Oh my God. Judy and Mark from Breezy Hill Orchids are amazing. Super nice people. I was friends with them before they even started their business. Um, and even before, like, I still loved talking to them. Sometimes we like FaceTime with each other to show each other our plants and stuff. They're the best, oh my God. So they're one vendor I'm just always happy to rave about because, oh my God. <laughs> and it's in Spike. I didn't even notice that until right now. Oh my God, it's in Spike. But where was I? <laughs> yeah, so Judy and Mark of Breezy Hill Orchids, they're amazing. Please go check them out. They're a bit of like a smaller uh, vendor, but they're, they've grown so much already just in the past like year or two. And they always have a cool selection of plants. They get some really different kind of unusual stuff that you might not see everywhere else. So they're definitely worth checking out. It's quite the haul today from Breezy Hill Orchids. <laughs> so thanks again, Judy and Mark. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye guys.